Kratith. The western end of the great continent is made up of mostly sky scraping mountains and earth cutting gorges. In its ancient day during the second age, these were the realms of the golden dwarves, rulers of heaven's peak, guardians of the afterlife, and holders of the throne of earth. The mountain known as heaven's peak glowed with golden hues, the summit rising into shafts of golden light. It acted as a land bridge between the realm of the empire and the realm of the gods, and allowed man and deity to walk between the mortal and immaterial world hand in hand. Deep in the gorges cut near the heart of the silver core, a silver pool swirled with luminescent energy known as the Pool of the Ancestors. Its vortex led into the realms of the afterlife where the spirits of the dead could travel the silver streams across the empire to visit their kin from beyond the grave and allow the dead to mingle with the living. But perhaps most important of all was the throne of earth. Constructed of gold and the blood of the unnamed god, the ancient dwarf titan Durodin sat for thousands of years attached to the construct by psionic energy and machinery. He held the realm of earth and the realm of God together by pure will and belief. The throne made by the dwarven saint Gilean, part of the order of heaven, believed through the will of God all things were possible. The throne would amplify prayer and project God's will across the cosmos, and with that power, Durodin could mold worlds to the will of the unnamed God. But to keep the dwarves in check, Moviana, the great world's platinum dragon, was crowned ruler of Kratith by the unnamed god, and her children, the metallic dragon legion, will watch over the empire from the sky and protect the worlds as guardians from the roosts of heaven's peak. They keep an eye out for internal evils and corruption, ensure those with power retain their faith, and purge the leadership of the empire should it ever fall into heresy. As the Golden Dwarves held most of this power, Kratith was therefore the home to the greatest of the world dragons. When the great demon destroyed Empress Felina, the shockwaves of the explosion shook Kratith, cracking the mountains, splitting Heaven's Peak down the middle, and damaging the throne of Earth. The pool of the ancestors shattered in an instant, draining into the pits of the abyss, and in a moment, millions of souls were lost. Tormented by the vile machinations of hell, the souls became corrupted, twisted into vile abominations and curses. They flooded through the pools of the ancestors, overrunning the valleys of Kratith, and surged towards heaven's peak. While the unnamed god fought the great demon, Moviana was forced to defend the world alone, and battled the damned. Thousands of dragons took to the sky, and the armies of the Golden Dwarves surged into the depths of the earth. Durodin tried to seal the pools and stop the invasion, but with the bridge cracked, the power from heaven began to fade, and as the battle shook the realm, heaven's peak broke and the throne shattered. The great bridge between realms fell into the sun, breaking off a shard forming the moon and in its shadow, a third of the dwarves turned pale, becoming the Silborin. With the throne crumbled, a third of the dwarves turned to stone, becoming the Bronn. And what remained of the golden dwarves flickered into a dull sheen. No longer protected by the unnamed god, the races of the Empire could not resist the taint of hell and became corrupted by its aura flooding into the Underdark. Its dark energies twisted the elves into drow, the dwarves into darrow and duger, and formed the hideous abominations of the deep. Many weaker races turned from the unnamed god, lured in by the call of the abyss. Orcs and goblins flooded the region, trolls rose from the rocks, and ogres and giants dug through the cracks of the earth to join their kin in war. It seemed all chaos had turned against Kratith. As Moviana's mind shattered from the great insanity, belched from the rift in Earlthet, her children collapsed and the metallic dragon legion broke. All seemed lost, but another earthquake struck, 
from an unknown power and collapsed upon the pool of ancients, sealing it off from the abyss and ending the great invasion. Then like Moviana, the hordes of hell too suffered from the insanity of the Earlthed Great Rift. They slaughtered each other in wanton violence, butchering their allies till hardly any remained. What survived fled into the Underdark, building within the hidden pits new kingdoms from the ashes. As the insanity faded, its reach eventually only extending to Earlthed, what survived on the surface of Kratith, fragments of golden dwarves and loyal factions of the Empire rebuilt upon the ruins of the old age, becoming shells of what they once were. And now once the unified kingdom of Kratith has become the regions of Ganareth, Theres, Black Peak, Kankor, Kaltorin, Goldorum, Silborin, Bran, Morlock Moor, Ardaran, Varisk, Nomaria, Barbarian Tribes of Thal, Great Frontiers of Gong, Kassara, Kask, Brieg, Modrinx, Iltharin, Goblin Tribes, Verbeeg, Morank, Ugrig, Ilyatil, Deep Rock, Naurk, and Urg. Kratith is still a realm trapped in eternal battle of heaven versus hell, as the forces of the Underdark wish to claim the surface and destroy the Golden Dwarves once and for all, along with the remains of the Throne of Earth while the forces of the surface wish to destroy the pools of the ancestors to prevent any more hellish influence. Thus, the endless battle rages on. For more information on Kratith, please refer to the upcoming videos on each nation of the region, uploaded every week in Avalonian crystal recorded form.